Jeff Ferris on Had Homestead. This video, I'm gonna show you the battery monitor I got for my system. So I picked up a battery monitor. That's the model number. So here you go. It's a Juntex. Oh, can you read it with the glare there? I put that on the website because they're not real. I guess proud of their name because they don't put it everywhere. If, if I owned the company, I'd put it everywhere. But anyhow, um, what do we got? These here look like that they're a couple of um, for the shunt. This covers 600 amps, by the way. And I've got so far two batteries. I would like to add more, but this shunt covers 200 amps. So basically what happens is when you go to put it up against the wall for an example these things here go right there. We'll go over that later. There's some cables in here. There's a, a temperature sensor, some other cables for communication and power. This is the one that I'm going to replace this with a longer one because that goes to this here the external box it uses the power of the battery but you can also do external power here's just some hardware stuff this is the one that goes by the battery so it looks like that so basically this that connects these two together and then that way I can see this remotely. So I can go put this 50 feet away and I'll be able to see what's in the battery. So I don't need no stinking Wi-Fi. So we'll put we'll set this up too. Like I said, this one here will cover 600 amps. Look at that massive shunt. It even tells you what side to do the loads, what side to do the battery. So now installing this June Tech battery monitor monitor. That's your but that's here's the shunt. And it's labeled load battery. I used red. I actually had somebody do it for me and they used red instead of black. No big deal. It's kind of obvious it goes to the negative terminal because it tells you right there. There are some mounting plates that are on here that go on the back and I showed you that in the beginning there. I only got one screw on there because this is pretty much holding it. So, and then it hooks up into this guy here. It goes in the middle one for this one. If you had a relay, you could do these others. I don't know what the relay does, so I, I probably will never do a relay. This one here goes through the display. This one here, they give you this separate, and then you provide a basically a power wire. So this is a 14 gauge, it handles 13 to 16 gauge, and I just put it over here to my power supply, the positive. That's how it powers it. And it's only one that's needed because the instruction says it goes in this guy right here. So the other two are left blank. And then my wire it's a pretty long cable. I don't know where I'm going to put this guy yet. I don't have any loads hooked up right now. In fact, my inverter is off. Because when I want to set this, I want to set this with no loads on the bat on this at all. So it doesn't kind of mess with the settings. I don't know if I should do that or not, but I did. I figured it makes sense. When I set this, I'll be honest, I have no idea how I set this. So the quality of this is not very good. This has been a pain in the butt to uh, kind of set up. If you see here it says 9%. But on the app it says 98%. Now, you're supposed to be able to scroll down to this 
remaining click OK and then you should be able to change it but it's not changing it it's it's like it's like somehow it, I don't know it won't let me change them now my battery bank is 200 amps but I got it set at 195 so I don't know what the deal is now you don't need this display if you've got the app but the app because this device here is a Bluetooth sender thing and so through the app and I got the app because of the QR code up there in here all I'm able to do is preset my battery and I've already done that that's the 195 that I set now in the settings I don't have any other settings because I don't have a relay now my low capacitor reminder 20% that's just I don't know what happens then I just said it at that everything else it looks like there's nothing more to set oh wait what's this see that's all stuff related to the relay huh I don't know I don't understand. How do I get out of this? Oh, that's how. Okay. So, I don't know. Now, this Bluetooth thing here works for about 50 feet from that guy. So, I can be 50 feet of, away from it, which means I can be barely inside the house. And, uh, I just gotta find a place to put that. Now, I will say this, though. This thing, this is why I say the quality kind of stinks. This cable here, I guess it's a, what? 485 or whatever you guys like to call them when it goes into this guy here there is it had I will lose connection so I you gotta it doesn't fit in there properly so there were times when I put it in and I, I would have nothing on the screen I sit here and wiggle it around pull it in and out wiggle it around and finally it, it would make connection so don't touch this wire because if you do you'll lose this connection so that's why I say the quality isn't good because either this is a bad cable or that's bad or something's bad but somehow it's not making a good connection which may be a little bit as to why I'm not able to make changes on this device here because the connection isn't proper maybe I don't know I don't know anyhow it at least gives me something and, um, and now I gotta find a place to mount this so I don't know where I'm gonna mount it right now so it looks like I'll be using the app and I just got to be within 50 feet of it or so and turn the app on I think that's it I think that's all I wanted to show you on that one I guess I could turn all that stuff back on now, huh? So there you go, battery monitor kind of helps because once I have the box all enclosed, I won't be able to look at the the display on the batteries. So this way at least I can see roughly where my batteries are. I don't need exact stuff. I just need to know roughly where my batteries are so that I need so I can say, "Oh no, I need to turn on the generator or something along those lines." You know what I mean? So I don't know. That's about it. I'm not 100% satisfied with it, but I'm like 90% satisfied. Does that make sense? 
I really wish though I I tried to hook up another cabling to send it into the other room so that I could have a wire all the way to it and it wasn't working at all I couldn't get it to work at all so that blew that idea so I have to use the uh, the phone app I don't really want to I'd rather use the full wiring but oh well until I find something else I guess I'll have to just deal with it um, guess that's it for this video um, see you bye have fun